In today's video, I'm going to show you how to adjust your table range here in Google Sheets. So when working with table or converted table, there are times that when we try and convert some data into a table, we accidentally select more than our data range. And we end up with something looking like this. We either have some spaces that are empty with our rows or our columns. And we can easily fix that by going to our table menu next to our table name right here. If you click on that, here we have our options and on the second row, we have adjust table range. If we click on this, we can now select the data range for our data. So if you have some excess rows right here, like what we have, what we're going to do is to change the row number only up to our data. So we have row number 12 as the end of our data right there. Let's put in 12. So that's still column F, row 12. If we click on OK, there we have it. We have adjusted the range of our table only up to row number 12. Now let's say we have a column in our table that's actually empty and no longer needed. We have two options for this one. The first option would be to again do the same thing, go to table menu and adjust our table range. So instead of column F, we are going to put in column E because that's where our data ends. There we go. So now we have column E still on row 12. Click on OK. And there you go. Although we have some remaining text right here, which we can just delete. There you have it. That's our first option. Our second option would be to completely delete that column. So again, if that column is empty and no longer of use, our second method would be to just delete it. Go to the drop down menu right here and select delete table column at the end. If we click on this, there we go. We don't need to delete anything else because we've deleted the column completely. And there you have it. That's how we can adjust the range of our table right here in Google Sheets. Thank you for watching this quick tutorial. Make sure to subscribe for more helpful videos and I will see you in the next one.